Well, you may have seen an old sewing cabinet at an antique store or an estate sale and thought it looked kind of cool. They do look cool, right? But they're not super practical unless you're ready for a little bit of DIY. Jan Hagerman from Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity Restore is with us, and you're going to show us how we Good can morning. transform one of these cabinets. Absolutely. So, Jason, if you'll Thank hold you, those. I'll take the chips. So, we got the chips, we got the sewing cabinet. What do we do with it? Hey, oh, oh my. my. We got the chips. That's brilliant. We got the sodas. Look at that. We got the cups. Another bin for the chips or put the ice and the dip in there. That's a great idea. Um, so it was just an old sewing cabinet. So when this was a sewing cabinet, there already is a, a recess hole in it, yes. right? Yes. That's for the sewing machine. The right? sewing machine was okay. in there. The, the hole happened to be exactly the right size for this sink. You're we kidding. just snugged it in there. Wow. We trimmed it out. So this is just regular like wood trim. Yep. And then you uh, glued it down, nailed it down. Did you paint it? Did paint it. Um, this little coppery color. Yes, to match the nice match copper the, edges. Look at that. We happen to have a baby shower coming up for a family member uh, soon, so we did pink and blue on this one. My daughter did this one, and uh, super easy. We don't get sewing machines in at the restore often, but when we do, we're like, what do we do with? Them? Right, yeah. these cabinets. Another cool idea with this one: cut the legs off a little shorter, put the sink in, paint a faux. Stove top on here, uh, and it's a play like, kitchen. A, a, a great idea. Yeah. So there are a number of things you could do with this, and we've got them at the restore. Not very often, but it's one of those things you can pick up from. Sink it. there too, generally. Always. You, oh, really? Always. always. There are always. We call it sink or swim when they come in. <laughs> <laughs> because people don't know what to do with these when they're, you know, when you redo your kitchen or whatever, you uh, often they get donated to you. Exactly, and you can. Do we get so much stuff donated there as you know from kitchens to uh, light fixtures to building materials shingers shingles if you need you know nail screws the screw nail gun to put the nails on the shingles we've got it a lot of times uh, and I may be speaking for myself here but these stainless steel sinks get all scratched up this one's in great shape did you do anything to restore it or no, this one came in in really nice shape okay um, nice. not all do we do get a lot of them that are though even uh, cast iron sinks um, the big name brand ones you want a nice sink for not much money come see me you've okay. got it okay. awesome this is a great idea great way to use this and they look cool already so it's nice they to do. have it be practical now if you're a sewer you may get a new sewing machine <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> well go to wcco.com slash links to find out where to shop to find out how you can donate also how to volunteer they love volunteers at the habitat for humanity restore so uh check it out go online jen thank you so much thank you. great ideas have a good weekend you too